Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can take Bone MIDI Translator and actually control a non-MIDI type of an application. In this example, I'll be using a jog wheel type application, controlling a zoom in and zoom out feature of Corel Video Studio Pro. First we start with a new project, uh, however the log windows aren't open, so I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can open the log windows. You can either do it with the view menu or the little uh, area on the right. And I'll open it with the area on the right first, close it up, and as you can see I can open it with the uh, view menu as well. Similarly, there's two ways you can also open up the project window. Again, there's a button on the right. There's also an option in the view menu. So you can choose either one. I'll show you how to do it here with the, the view menu, project properties. Uh, but again, you can do it with the button on the other side just as easily. Now I'm going to show you uh, how you select the input device. I have a lot of input devices here, and so basically on the project properties over in the MIDI input section, you just scroll down to the one you want and you click it. In this case I'll use a MIDI Fighter Twister because it has a continuous controller uh, which is similar to what a jog wheel can do. Okay, now we're going to add a translator, a couple translators. First one will be a zoom in translator, and we're going to go ahead and capture the value of the knob that the MIDI Fighter Twister has. So I'll show it to you here. And I'm going to twist the knob to the right a little bit, and you can see the value coming through here. You can't see the whole thing. I'll expand it in just a second. And by clicking on it, it, it moves it up to the incoming translator itself. Let me expand it a little bit so you can see it. So there we have a value of 65 as I turn it to the right and it's pulled over to the incoming message. Now I select an outgoing message. In this case it's going to be a Windows mouse event. So outgoing, I'm going to choose mouse. And then I'm going to choose mouse button clicks. And Windows Inject Event. And now this allows us to actually capture the little um, control that's on the application itself. So I click on the plus button and it captures that little control. So now I've basically set it up so I can zoom in by using a, a, a right turn of the controller. Now I'm going to do the same thing for zoom out. Again I'll capture the MIDI message by turning the controller to the left of here. And you can see the value for the left. I'll capture that. And again, I go down to the outgoing message. And I capture it as a mouse action. Again, it's going to be a button click located on the defined control which I'm going to capture here. In this case it's a little hourglass with a minus sign. And there you go. Now we've set it up so if I turn the knob to the right it will go zoom in. If I turn it to the left it will zoom out. I'll go ahead and name these translators so I remember what they are later when we look at it. And then we'll set it up so you can actually see it in action. Again, I'm using Corel Video Studio, which does not have any MIDI capabilities at all. So I'm emulating mouse actions with the knobs of my external controller, uh, which is a MIDI Fighter Twister. But you could use a different controller. Any controller with a jog wheel uh, would work fine. And as you can see, it's zooming in and zooming out quite nicely. So everything is working correctly. So with that, I'd like to thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, let me just show you in summary what we've done. We've created a zoom in and a zoom out translator. When you turn the knob to the right, it's going to zoom in. When you turn to the knob to the left, it's going to zoom out. And they're both done with left mouse button injected events on the controls. So thanks for joining, and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.